Hello, I'm Vanessa Tan, and I will be presenting my work with Dr. Franz De Leon on multitask learning for detection, recovery, and separation of polyphonic music. So first, what is music separation? The goal of music separation is to extract individual sound sources from a given audio mixture. Solving music separation would open a wide range of applications, such as automatic transcription, audio post-production, music information retrieval, and even for 3D sound design of mixed reality applications. Recent studies explored the use of deep learning algorithms in solving music separation. Although they have good performance, they are still inefficient, as they need to learn an independent model for each sound source. Our proposed system is to separate audio mixture using only a single model. Leveraging on the idea of informed source separation, where providing additional information could help improve the network, we uh, integrate the classification network that would help the system to detect the presence of the sound source in a given time frame. We also utilize a recovery network to learn the data representations of the audio mixture. The separation of the mixture will be limited to four sound sources. The vocals, bass, drums, and others. And we will be using the MIS TB18 dataset for our research. The rest of this presentation is divided into three points. The network architecture, a model comparison with baseline algorithms, and lastly, the conclusion and future work. Let's now dive into the network architecture. The architecture has four major components, audio input representation, separation and recovery block, and the classification block. First is our audio input representation. We utilize a time frequency representation for the audio mixture. Based on experiments, the best TF representation is the short time Fourier transform, with a window length set to 512, with 75% overlap, and a Blackman window function. Next is our separation block. The base network adapts the unit architecture for singing voice separation. Rather than using normal convolutional layers, we utilize dilated convolutions. Dilated convolutions allow flexible aggregation of the multi-scale context of the data, while keeping the same resolution. This could help the network learn different frequency scales, particularly for the vocal track, since the vocal track contains mid to high frequencies. We then now move to our recovery block. This network learns the shared information in each task. It has the same unit architecture as the separation block. Inspired from the idea of stacking networks from image segmentation, stacking units could help capture more contextual information while preserving higher resolution outputs. Note. Both the separation and recovery block utilizes the mean absolute error as their loss functions. A classification network of the system is a multi-label classification of the four sound sources. Two classification mappings were uh, explored for this network. The first mapping is a global average polling, which calculates the average output of each feature map while the global weighted rank polling computes a weighted average score for each class. After adding global polling layers in the separation network, four dense layers were added to the network. Since the dataset used for this research does not focus on the classification of sound sources, the ground truth labels for detection are imbalanced. Hence, the binary focal loss is used for the loss function of this network. For the classification network, the equal error rate and the area under the curve are used as evaluation metrics. For AUC, the higher the values, the better, and for EER, the lower the values, the better the performance of the system. As shown in this table, the AUC and EER metrics are consistent for all sound sources. Only the drum source improve in changing the global pulling layer to global weighted rank pulling. Between the two classification mappings, the global average pooling has the best average metrics. We now move to our model comparison. 
Three metrics were used to evaluate the separation performance. First is the SDR, or the signal to distortion ratio, which measures the amount of noise in a signal. Then we have the SIR, or the signal to interference ratio, which measures how well an algorithm separates a target source in a mixture. And SAR, or the signal to artifacts ratio, which measures how well an algorithm recovers the target source without removing or adding unwanted signals. Two implementations were compared with the baseline algorithm. The first implementation is the separate plus parallel classification and recovery, or what we call the parallel network. Then the second one is the recover, separate, and classify, or the series network. Please note that the separation baseline needs four models to separate the four sound sources. Based on the three metrics, the parallel configuration has the best separation performance for SDR and SIR, while the series configuration achieved the highest SAR. For recovering the audio mixture, the best implementation is the parallel system. Please note that the separation baseline has no recovery block, hence only the two implemented systems were compared. The standard evaluation metrics for separation ignore silent or near-silent ground truth sources. With this in mind, a subjective evaluation was conducted to explore these timeframes and evaluate how acceptable the separated sources were done by the algorithms. The survey consists of five songs with a 9-second lag track, which were randomly selected in the test data of music TV 18. The participants were asked to rate the tracks in a 5-step Likert scale, ranging from poor to excellent. A total of 30 participants answered the survey. 60% of these participants know how to play an instrument while 40% of them are non-musicians. Non Among the three algorithms, the baseline is more preferred in separating the vocals and the drum source. The parallel implementation gives the best score for the other source, while the series implementation works well in separating the base source. The baseline for the classification task is different from the separation baseline. Please also note that the researchers of the classification baseline did not explicitly discuss their instrument detection algorithm. Hence, the results presented here only show the performance of the system based on the same test data. As shown in the table, the classification baseline performs well in vocal sources. Meanwhile, the parallel implementation achieves the best classification results for the drum source. For the bass and the others, the series implementation has the best classification metrics. To summarize, this work demonstrates a multitask learning architecture for separation, detection, and recovery of polyphonic music using a single model. Experiments show that a separate then parallel classification and recovery or the parallel network is the best configuration based on the overall performance of the system. The implemented system is also the best network in, in separating base and other sources. It is recommended to investigate a standard subjective evaluation in order to have a fair comparison among music separation algorithms. Other quantitative metrics should also be explored since the SDR, SIR, and SAR can't handle silent or near-silent sources, thus not evaluating the overall performance. Other than classification and recovery, a melody extraction or beat detection task could be included for multitask learning. Please check out our paper for further discussion and listen to some samples using the given link. Please don't hesitate to reach out for any questions or comments. Thank you for listening.